Francis Bartholomew, undefeated, looking to win the lightweight title. Dennis Shafikov, his same goal in front of him, 36-1-1, one one. his only loss in his previous title fight. An extreme height and reach advantage as the tail of the tape demonstrates. We're gonna dive into that. It could dictate a lot of this lightweight bout. Let's meet the fighters in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, from Palms Casino Resort, the time has come for the Premier Boxing Champions main event of the evening, live on Spike, 12 rounds for the lightweight championship. Introducing first, the red corner, wearing the white, his professional record near perfect with 36 wins, just one loss and one draw. 19 wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from Mihas, Russia. Introducing Dennis, Genghis Khan Shavikov. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, dressed in camo, tripped in gold. As a professional, he stands undefeated at 23-0. 13 victories coming by way of knockout, originally from Havana, Cuba. Now, out of Las Vegas, the former super featherweight champion, Francis Kidblast Barthelemy. In charge of the action, your referee, Vic Dracovich. All right, gentlemen, this is for the IBF lightweight title. You received your instruction in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution. Any punch below this area is going to be called low. Golpes de bajo de este puto, serio mano bajo. For that, I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Obedezca mis comandos, protege a su mismo siempre. Touch them up now, good luck to both of you. Token los, buenos suertes. Title fight here in Nevada will use the unified rules. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. In the event of an accidental foul, we will underscore that point. We will go to the scorecards after four rounds complete. They are taped up. They are laced up. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. There's going to be a title fight. Lightweight championship and Antonio Tarver, I'm turning to you. Look at the size of these two men. Five inches of height, five inches of reach in favor of Bartholomew. Does that not have to dictate the way both of these men need to approach this? Sometimes it does, but when we ask that question in the fighter meeting, Shuvanov said it's been that way 37 times straight, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Shavikov brought in several six-foot-tall fighters to spar with to prepare for Bartholomew's height and reach advantage. There is no bad build in fighting. It's whether or not you fight for your build. In order to do that, Shavikov has to get inside. a very busy, lot of head movement. His style has to fit the disparity in reach and height. And I think his style is, is, is tailor-made for uh, Bar Bartholomew because He's not afraid to get in there and let his hands go. And he's going to do that for 12 rounds. The longer this round, the longer this fight goes, I think it gets more interesting. Uh, it didn't take long for Pathelemy to switch. You were waiting for it. Okay. <laughs> He will do that. There was even rumors out of his camp that he had trained Southpaw almost exclusively for this fight. When we met with him yesterday, he said, no, he's prepared to go back and forth. He will go back and forth as we have seen him do in uh, bouts prior. And indeed, he's already done that here on Friday night. And maximizes the reach advantage. The shoulder Shabakov doesn't know where the power punches are coming from. That's important. Fighting a shorter fighter, throw the uppercut. There it was. Again, he switches. I mean, he's comfortable from both sides of, of the plate. It doesn't matter. Bartholomew feeling real comfortable, switching back again, standing mostly flat-footed while he does it, guys. Not up on his toes, letting the lead hand go to work. Shavkov now dives in, trying to get him up against the ropes. No dice. Beautiful shoulder roll and came right back with a straight left. Bartholomew. With a 
reason, perhaps, for the lack of footwork is he knows Shavikov has to take that stutter step forward. There's got to be, he's got to close range for it to punch at all. He's confident he'll see that coming. Just like that. Yes. Another uppercut attempted. Hard to tell how much was behind that. The overhand left didn't get home, but some redness in round number one on the face of the Russian. Oh, it's Vegas, it's Friday night, it's a title fight. You know the stars are gonna be out like Sean Porter. Showtime in the house, fellas. A guy who's up for PBC Fighter of the Year. Uh, reported USA Today speculating, speculating, I want to make a match with Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. A couple of PBC's finest. Well, if we don't call it, I want tickets to it. I'll say that. <laughs> nice. That'd be a great fight. Nice. I know some people. Yeah. <laughs> And also, Antonio Sean Porter, one hell of a commentator. Oh, yeah. Commentating your fight. Yeah, that's right. Most he gave it. <laughs> Many more years ahead, though, away from the microphone for Porter. <laughs> Bartholomew just looks comfortable. Shavikov now getting to the range where he feels he can do a little work. Dodges that combination. The danger zone for Barthelemy is with the longer reach, it's a long way from your opponent's chin back to your own chin. Those gaps, it's a longer road to go from offense to defense. Shavikov has to take advantage of that. Also, big fighter, tall fighter. Big target. I like that work the whole body ribs as well. Most definitely. But I like that shoving off is still jabbing. He's still jabbing his way in. And again, a lot of times, you know, most of uh, the Thurman opponent was a little taller than showing off. And being such a short fighter, it could be hard for him to land his power exactly. shots as well. Problems both ways. He's a small target. Yeah. Funny smaller guy. Bartholomew snapping in a couple shots that are scoring against Chapikov. Flicking out that jab. Yeah, he is. Good jab. Here's where that lack of footwork can hurt Barthelemy. Is once he closes distance, Barthelemy has to get out and angle properly. Left hand scored there for Shafikov. Barthelemy answers with a left of his own. A lot of the criticism of Cuban fighters that have made the, the trip over the United States and big cruises pros is they have to get rid of that stick and move amateur kind of style. Barthelemy, very confident, staying in the pocket and throwing punches. Yes, he is. He's comfortable, composure's nice. But Shovenov is bringing it to him this round. He's yes. landing some good body shots. And I can see that this fight is going to get very interesting. It's going to heat up, guys. This is uh, Shafikov's fourth fight in the United States, 3-0 in his prior bouts here. Their heads are coming very, very close. Well, that'll back up a head right there, a left hand for Barthelemy. We're warming up here in Vegas. Round two, much more action than we saw in the first. Well, we've watched dozens, if not hundreds, of fights this year, PBC on Spike. None of them started the way last month's bout between Edwin Rodriguez and Michael Seals began. Round number one, three knockdowns, with each fighter scoring at least one. That one there almost ended it in the first, but Rodriguez came back later on to beat Seals in a fight that is nominated for the fight of the year and the round of the year, that electrifying round number one in Biloxi, Mississippi. Find out who wins the awards in the PBC Best of 2015 show on NBC Sports Network tomorrow night. You mentioned the Cuban style earlier, Jimmy, yeah. and, and you see that Barthelemy is really not using his legs like I know he can, and it, it really gives Shovenov uh, a, a chance here. Barthelemy can box a lot better than this. I've seen him do it. 
Bartholomew in the camouflage trunks, guys, you just said, the Cuban style, his Cuban background, the stuff of, of that you would write in a novel, born in abject poverty, said that he had to steal food from neighbors' yards, jumping over fences to pull mangoes off of trees, has a, a large scar from a gash that a guard dog gave to him as he was trying to steal food for him and his family. Because of that and the government oppression, oh, they, they break after a, a potential low blow there. Uh, because of that and government oppression in Cuba, that man in the camouflage trunks tried to defect, by his count, 38 times, attempting to get to the United States, almost every time, getting caught by the Cuban government or being turned away by a uh, U.S. border patrol. When he was caught, thrown into multiple prisons in Cuba. Says if you can name a province in Cuba, I've been to their prison. He would get there to the prison and the guards would recognize him as a notable Cuban boxer and they said, keep trying to escape. You need the guards in the prison telling him, go, get to the United States, make something of yourself. On the 38th attempt, he made it to Mexico and then sur uh, surreptitiously throughout the night worked his way up through into Texas, said he felt free when he finally was on American soil, promised he would never look back, and now an undefeated professional boxer here in the U.S. Question that guy's heart and toughness. Look at his life. Can't do it. Told us stories of nearly drowning, uh, trying to swim out to a boat that would take him to uh, Florida. Made it one time, he could see the Florida Keys. In fact, they started celebrating and singing, him and the other Cuban defectors on the boat. And then they said, all, all of a sudden, spotlights hit him in the middle of the night. It was the US Coast Guard telling them to turn back around. Another failed attempt. This is the rain shot. Now the close quarters. Like you said, Chip, no footwork, willing to sit there and bang with the shorter, powerful opponent. So who's winning? Yeah, tough like the score. Shavikov with a nice shot, a right hand that snapped it back at the bell. Listen to that bell. Jimmy, you said it. Shavikov got in close, got a right hand through. You can see, fortunately, Bartholomew turning to his right, a little bit of a glancing shot, but still landed. Francis Bartholomew from a family of fighters. The brother Jan that you saw listed there, a Cuban gold medalist in years past. Hasn't had the pro career that his brother that you're watching live is having. But Rance is saying, yeah, you, you grow up in that type of family, you're gonna be a fighter. In those circumstances, that competition available like that to you, punches to get him out of a difficult spot rather than using his feet. He's content to stay in close. I want to make mention also that he's never had a, a knockout after four rounds. So uh, he's fighting like a puncher right now. And I know he can move his legs and make this a much difficult fight for Shogun. Uh, Shogun. Neither one of these fighters have been knocked down as pros. Shabakov there working in close, going to the body. A little bit of a flurry. They're banging heads in there too. Oh, they are. They, they are. Good combination. With their height. And well, it's the top of Shabakov's head into almost the chin of Bartholomew. That's the size difference. What do you want the guy to do? Yeah, that's it's, the size it's difference. Happen. Bartholomew, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. Shavikov, Bartholomew both landing uh, nearly equally in terms of the amount of power punches, according to CompuBox. 44 to 49. Bartholomew is not fighting tall. He's not using his advantages. The reach, the height, his legs. He should be boxing right now, winning these early rounds, uh, completely winning these rounds to build up a lead in this fight. Yep, Shavikov getting where he wants to be. And look at his build. As he comes down, as Shavikov, Shavikov comes in and closes the distance, you see Bartholomew shrink down to his level and kind of curl up rather than stand up and move his feet. And they're still banging heads. I think that's going to happen throughout this fight. There's just nothing to do about these guys with opposite stances, different builds. Two left hands and an uppercut land for Shavikov.
It's amazing that the taller fighter has been warned on low blows. He's been, uh, he's had points deducted in, in bouts past, Bartholomew has for low blows, even with his tall stature. And there is a, yet another headbutt warning. He's leading with his head. I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I, I mean, don't so the guy is boy. six inches short. Then Bartholomew, I mean, what, if, what do you want him to put his head? But tell him he shouldn't be that close anyway. He should be using his jab and winning his round by dictating the jab and the combination punches. Vic Drakulic is our referee. A few warnings. A lot of referees will say, hey, I've already warned a guy a few times. Even if he thinks it might be accidental, he might feel inclined to take away a point. Something to watch yes. as we advance on. In that round, you're too much in the center. I want you to go off to the yep, side. He's the ready. Start throwing the shots here and up the middle. I want those two shots. Here and up the middle, both sides, okay? Well, you this round, then you're gonna open him up to the body. All right? But make sure you prepare that, all right? Abel Sanchez, one of the best in the business. Talking to his fighter, the translator. Well, you get to this side here and up, all right? Do good work, just don't let him work. Sports Illustrated first. just named Abel Sanchez trainer of the year. I got this. There's a, there are a lot of greats in the sport, and the sport benefits from a lot of great trainers. Abel is always wonderful to meet with when we see him on our PBC on Spike Bouts. Uh, well done and well deserved there for Abel Sanchez. Can't argue with that. Yeah, it's been a great year for him. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? You get this guy in the gym, uh, uh, Golovkin, Triple G, Abel Sanchez, probably the most well-known uh, fighter at the moment. And he says that, that he sees a little bit of Triple G and some toughness in him like this. Uh, Marat Gassiev as well, another uh, Abel Sanchez fighter. All right, this has got to be a tough fight to score. Let's go to our PBC historian, Marcos Villegas. Tell us what you see. Scott, I'd hate to see the headbutts become an issue in yeah. this fight. And I'm really, really surprised by the way Rancis is fighting. Yes. He has a huge advantage in height and reach, and the kid can box. And he's not doing that. He's fighting uh, Dennis's fight. And you can see it's really, really close to have even. Okay, two rounds apiece and back and forth rounds at that. As we are now in the fifth of the lightweight title bout scheduled for 12. A reach advantage in the pocket becomes a reach disadvantage. Yes. Very hard to use that tool when you're up close. And that's where the last few rounds have been. And if this fight continues like this, then Bartelli is unfortunate and not to get the decision. He's going to look back at this and you know what? He's going to kick himself saying, I know I could have done a lot more better. Okay, look at the tall guy with fewer jabs landed. Bartholomew 18 to 21 landed by Shavakov according to CompuBox. And he's squaring up his feet. Look at his feet, look at his feet. They're square. You can't do that. De uh, deliver no power shots with your feet being square like Bartholomew is a lot of times inside. Just took a hook. And what does he do when he gets a little space? He moves forward instead of, instead of backward. He's not making Shavakov come to him. Left got through. Shavakov right now is feeling good. You can see his fight switching. He could close his eyes and throw and know that Bartholomew is going to be there. You wouldn't recommend it. I generally want it now. <laughs> not advising it. I'm just saying he probably could. They're at distance there, Shavikov, getting a couple punches home. As Bartholomew kind of turtled up for a moment. Closing seconds of round number five. A championship on the line in the lightweight division. The taller man, Francis Bartholomew, undefeated against the Russian, Denis Shavikov. Showing some wear on the right side of Shavakov's face as the guys in the truck give us an excellent look at the five foot five inch Russian to begin round number six, scheduled for 12. Also, Buffelli has not landed that power shot that's going to make Shavakov think twice about coming in. Good combination. 
action. Bartholomew ate a couple of punches and fights back with a combination of uppercuts. If you see one round, you see them all. <laughs> toe to toe, nobody's backing up. They're in the phone booth right now. Okay. Losing a decision to a guy who said, I beat him up in sparring, so I took him lightly, didn't give it everything I had. He's learned from that because he's given this everything he has. You may get one shot at the title. Sometimes you may get two. Very unlikely you get three. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, these guys' engines are still willing them on to throw more. The volume picking up almost in each round, it would seem. Still a very, very difficult round to score. Oh, yep. One factor might be that up close, it's Shabakov that has a little bit more steam on his punches just because okay. he has short arms. They, if they land an equal amount, Shabakov has a little more juice on those shots. Yeah, that might be the difference. Maybe. It may be. I know Bartholomew is in excellent shape. I follow him on Instagram. I see he's been working hard. But it looks like you know, it's a fighter that's really unsure of his condition because his legs, he's not using his legs tonight. Is that why you're always on your phone checking out fighters on Instagram? No. Studying, <laughs> studying, dude. I appreciate that. I, I just like the guy. I've seen him. I follow his career. I think he has a lot of potential. But uh, like I said, I've seen him box. Box a lot better than this. Very true. The former light heavyweight champion of the world and current selfie and social media <laughs> champion of the world, Antonio Tarver. You look at the undefeated Cuban defector, Francis Bartholomew. The Shavikov camp told us distinctly they feel Bartholomew falls off after six rounds. Bartholomew is a, is a natural 130 pounder, so they claim, moving up here to 135. Now we enter the seventh round. Shavikov's corner prophetic. There was a good left hand by Shavikov. Wow, look at those county box numbers. 137 Shavikov, 136 Bartholomew. Punches landed according to their numbers. Not surprising to see how much these guys have thrown. Boy, a few times in this round, Bartholomew dropping the hands right to the side to get a momentary rest, it would appear. Yep. Do not expect Shakakov to give him a break. Yeah. He's on him, man. <laughs> He's putting that pressure on him. Pressure bust pipes. It isn't just physical pressure. He's staying, behind the, he's staying behind the jab. And he's throwing. He's not just leaning against him. He's throwing as well, landing a lot of shots. He's fighting his style. This yep. is his style of fighting. 1,000%. Left gets through for Bartholomew. One thing that can help Bartholomew is that if he put more than one punt together, he's one and done. If you do combination punch, he might be able to get some shots, some, some, some opening in this fight, some openings. Boy, the two warriors standing in the middle of the ring here. You see the wear, you see a little bit of, of fatigue on their faces. The fists tell a different story, though. They continue the pace. If you know Abel Sanchez, you know he has a he has Shafikov trained to turn it up at this point. 
You know that was the focus of their camp. They believe he fades late. We're going to turn it on late. All right, we got some blood definitely coming out of Shafikov's right side, the right eye cheek, maybe eye socket area. I didn't see a punch. I don't know if he landed a punch. The referee didn't say anything. Yeah. It could have been one of those sneaky head butts. Good man. Or one of the thousand punches they keep throwing. <laughs> Well, we know it's not Francis' blood. He told us proudly yesterday, I have never been knocked down in a fight. I have never been cut in a fight. Okay, Dennis, that was a perfect round. The only problem that I have with you is you standing in front of him getting caught with uppercuts. Okay, you have to be over to the Back side. Back into the okay. Russian's now, corner. when you step around, you have to Able work. Sanchez. You can't let him start first. Okay, let's go. The Shavikov cut is on the lower eyebrow, upper eyelid of the right eye. That's bleeding into the eyeball, fellas. It is. And the referee, Vic, uh, said that it was from a punch. Box says that this fight has been close in terms of volume and accuracy. Our unofficial scorekeeper says the same thing. A one-point advantage through seven for Dennis Shabakov. Right now, it's been a little bit more busy. He's throwing more punches right now. A couple of right hands land for Shadokov, and another right gets through. Some fighters see blood, and they turn up. Nice. Gives them a target. That could be what's happening with Bartholomew. Bartholomew with a straight right of his own. Combination by Bartholomew. Finally put two together. Crowd two reacts more. to it. Well, still not seeing his footwork. He's content not. to throw in the pocket. They are standing on the O in Corona in the middle of the ring. <laughs> and the crowd appreciates it. Boy, that blood has to be into the right eye of Shavikov at this point. They he take says, the turns. Yeah, they are. <laughs> It's almost like, all right, I'm gonna take a break, now you throw. Man, Bartholomew is going to work on that. Oh, he's oh, up right now. Left hand landed on the spot. And it is spurting blood. Loading up is Rancis Bartholomew. Abel's gonna have his work cut out to close that cut right, between rounds. Right, right. left hand, the entire right side of Shabakov's face, blood red. I believe it's a it's a Kuba, Kuba <laughs> chant that we are hearing right now for the Cuban defector, whose gloves are turning red with the amount of blood coming out of the Russian. Oh, there it is. That's the doctor one. is going to get a look at it right here. They send him into the corner. Open it up more. I mean, that round he went at that yep. cut. I think that really lit a fire under him as soon as he saw that cut. Okay, okay good to go. Man, if that is on the lid, it's a bad spot. It's a bullseye right now for the tall Cuban. in round number eight. We don't know who's going to win. We know there will be at least butterfly stitches at the end of the night for the Russian. That's something he's going to have to worry about the rest of this fight. Yeah, I mean, look, they just did their best work on it, and you can still see 
blood obviously had trickled down to the chest area and covering the white shorts of the shorter Russian. But how quick will it open back up here in round number nine? Lightweight title fight. You're watching PBC live on Spike. Francis Bartholomew took the play right out of the hands of Dennis in a dominant eight round. Dead even on our unofficial scorecard, 76 to 76, four rounds apiece. Now my question is, the cut lit a fire under Bartholomew, could it light a fire under Shavikov? Every time he goes to the corner, there's a chance this fight is going to be stopped. Will he go hard for the knockout? He had not stopped punching, so I don't think that cut right now is going to deter him at all. This is his second opportunity at a world title. Could be his last. It might motivate him more. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering about. Will he turn around thinking, man, doctor takes another look at this, I might be out of here. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. You gotta let it go right now. Oh, nice. Quick combination. Another low blow. Shavikov dives back in and scored with a left. is flowing again. It's a mess. And every time Bartholomew hear those Kuba, Kuba chants, he pick it up. <laughs> He's relying on the audience right now. Proud fighter. Both these men in the fighter meetings talking about this was just going to be the first step, getting the win here tonight and winning a belt. Bartholomew telling us he has his eyes on multiple division championships. The Russian, nicknaming himself Genghis Khan, trying to conquer the world, as the Mongolian once did. just freeze this fight at any one point yeah. and it would be this is what we've seen the whole time in yeah. five seconds of this yeah. fight that's where it's been since round number two yeah well diagnosed and uh, antonio put it you, you see one round you see them all yeah, yeah. not that it's not entertaining in a great not, way yeah. yeah not that it yeah and both fight oh a little bolo action out of bartholomew and a shoulder shrug okay okay final seconds here in the round what was that? <laughs> Just a little showboat, a little shuffling, a little swag. A little ice needed for application on the eyes of the Cuban. As the gauze, the Q-tips, the petroleum jelly, and everything else goes on the face of that man, or at least the right eyelid of Denis Shafikov as we fight on into round number 10. And Bartholomew picks up where he left off, wagging that left hand out there, maybe trying to get himself going a little bit in a different way. It's also just giving Shafikov a different look, okay. something he hasn't seen before, maybe throw him off his game. Because it's Shafikov who has to close the distance. Marcos Viegas, how do you see this one? So far, I see Rance is really pulling away since that cut opened up over the eye of Shavikov. You could really tell he's focusing on that. I would think if I was Shavikov, I would know to be urgent, knowing that at any time that cut can even, even open up even more. So he has to do something really big because Rancis is pulling away with the fight right here. Okay, Bartholomew on your scorecard with his first lead since round number one, where you had a 10-9 for the Cuban defector. Shafikov into a couple punches with that outside 
low hands kind of stance. I think it's a dual purpose. I think it's yeah. fatigue coming in there, and he's using it as a little rest, getting some blood back into the arms there, as well as maybe bringing him in. I mean, he, put, he, he has his poker face on right now. You know, he's right now wanting to let Shovacar feel that he has a second win and that he's energized, but at the, at, at the same time, he's not really doing a whole lot more than what he was doing the round before. Exactly. Well, he's looked like he's taking a poker to the face of his opponent. <laughs> Going back to that in a phone booth kind of style. But like Marco said, I think Bartholomew is pulling away. There's not enough moments right now for uh, Shavakov that he's, he hasn't had many moments in the last two or three rounds. It's been all Bartholomew. It is grind time now. Championship fight going to the championship rounds. It is a gauze and compression type of night here for the lightweight championship. Between Denis Shafikov, the Russian on the left, Francis Barthelemy, the undefeated Cuban defector on the right. We go to the 11th round, scheduled for 12. The previously white trunks, now a pinkish red on the shorter Russian. We told you earlier in the fight that his corner man, Abel Sanchez, voted by Sports Illustrated as the trainer of the year, maybe add cut man of the year to that title as well, as he's had to close up that gash over the right eyelid of his fighter in between the last uh, probably six or seven rounds. The fact that he's still in this fight says a lot. And he just landed a tremendous left hook to the body of Bartholomew. And a left hand upstairs shook up Bartholomew. One thing Bartholomew has to do is he has to stay active in these last couple of rounds. Boy, this round could take us up to 500 total punches thrown, depending on the activity. Landed that. It's 500 total punches landed, potentially. Bartholomew right now is using all of his ring generalship to stay ahead in this fight. Discouraging Shemakov a little bit. Frustrating, kind of sticking and moving a little bit, using his feet a little bit better. <laughs> Left hand as Bartholomew dived in, landed on Shemakov. Doing a Sergio Martinez impersonation, <laughs> dropping his hands from the southpaw stance. Right on the eye, busted. Yeah. <laughs> Maravilla would have been proud of that one. That's a great shot. Bartelli is not using his leg lock, but he's using angles. Every yeah. time he's just going enough. To yeah. yeah. He's finding it now. He's finding the left. And he's forcing Shovakov to turn right into the one two. And that distance, even with the hands down, it's making Shovakov overcommit a little bit. He's catching him on the way in. advantage in a different way too. Grabbing him, wrapping him up. You can do that when you have the longer arms. And years of amateur experience. Yeah. Years of amateur experience right now is coming into play. Uh, those Cuban boxers know how to stick and move, hit you, and then wrap you up, <laughs> break you up, repeat, and they're, they're head on points. And they're the best at that, yeah. the point game. But this professional boxing, yeah. and we're in the hurt business now. <laughs> well, I think Bartholomew's done enough damage. Oh, he yeah. can afford to take a couple rounds and play amateur again. He stood and traded throughout this fight. Well, someone might be going into the final round needing a knockout. We probably don't know who, but we're going to wait and see it next.
The face of a man who has put just about everything on the line. I say just about because he better have three more minutes left in it. We go to the final round in the lightweight title fight. Bartholomew looked like a bit of a smile, a respectful double tap of the gloves as we enter the final round. These guys now know one another better than anyone else does. They've been through hell together, that means a lot. Yep. And it's that little, little pokey jab right there that Chauvin up has to get through that he's been unsuccessful to do, been able, he's been unsuccessful to do in the last couple rounds. Look at the footwork that's been absent yes. throughout this fight. The last three rounds, using his feet. If it's close, if it's razor thin close, we're talking about neither fighter needing a knockout necessarily. A knockdown in this round could decide the fight right here. I think it's that close where a knockdown will win the fight for, for one of these fighters. One thing you have to think about is all, both of these guys have talked about their goals beyond this fight, beyond this title. A fight like this takes a lot out of you. Yes. Your future, you can't spend a whole career with fights like this. There's a good chance that neither one of these fights is going to be this same yeah. after tonight. Now, barring a draw, one of them is going to be different with a strap around his waist. <laughs> yes. And will sleep well this evening. If it is Bartholomew, which so far it looks like it will be, rarely do you see a guy change styles the way he did. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe most of the fight and then doing a great job sticking and moving in the last few rounds. His bicycle. Yeah. Very smart fighter, very yeah. smart fighter, very intelligent boxer. And you can see that from all of these movements and the suggestions that he's done throughout this fight. The great fighters have a lot of weapons. He's shown a lot of weapons. They don't just do one thing. They can do it all. Do he's it all. shown that he can do it all tonight. And with this, uh, with these wind-ups, the bolo action, Bartholomew convinced that Shavikov does not have a knockdown or knockout punch in him this late in the fight. The activity there towards Bartholomew in the last six rounds of this 12-round fight. And even if Shavikov has that knockout power, which, hey, I believe he does, he's controlling the range, he's controlling the distance with that stance so that Shavikov doesn't get in the range to use it. That's key. He's not being careless. He's not making yep. dumb mistakes and putting himself in harm's way. Final seconds. <laughs> And the chicken stance. Rances, dances as he feels he has just won a lightweight championship. Did he? Or could we have a shocker? The official decision. Okay, PBC historian and our unofficial scorekeeper, Marcos Villegas, said that the back half of the fight was Bartholomew's a clean sweep. Rounds 7 through 12 on Marcos's card, which would give in what appeared to be a close fight for a lot of the way, a, a fairly decisive victory to Bartholomew if the judges agree. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your ringside judges. Judge Robert Hoyle scores the fight 119 to 109, while judges Steve Weisfeld and Burt Clemens see the fight the same at 116 to 112. All see it for the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the lightweight champion, Rancis Kiplas Barthelemy. He was a billion to one shot in life to even get to this point. The Cuban defector, 38 attempts to get to the United States, is now a champion. Again. <laughs>